Hey guys, welcome to another video. Today's video, I'm just gonna like show you how to make a leveling system. Like you get XP, you your level increases, and so on and so forth. Maybe I'll add a UI if this video doesn't end up being like a hour long, which it's not. But let's get started. So in server script service, hit the plus and then insert a script. You can rename this script to leader stats or just ls. I'm too lazy to name it leader stats, so I do ls. Remove the text that's in here. You can do game not player dot player added connect function player. So this gets when the player joins the game and sets a tag on the player, which is called player. So if they join, then they're just called player. Now we're gonna do local stats equals instance dot new folder player stats dot name equals leader stats so this is making a variable called stats make and it's setting it to a new instance and a new instance is like pressing a plus on the, any section like workspace and then here we're going to insert a folder just like how the instance says so it's like inserting a folder into a workspace and such and then we're parenting it to the new player who just joined the game now it's like we have a folder in workspace and we're renaming it to leader stats it's pretty much what that line does so now we're gonna make a few variables our first variable is our current xp so local current xp equals instance dot new number value player current xp dot name actually i'm not gonna i'm gonna yeah current xp dot name equals current xp current xp dot value zero i'm not gonna okay i said just to keep this in the player but just so i can demonstrate i'm gonna keep this i'm gonna parent it into the folder so it pops up on the player list so this just makes a new instance which is a number value sets its name to current xp and changes the value to zero now we're gonna do local needed xp equals instance dot new number value once again i'm putting in stats but i suggest you do it in player the needed xp dot name equals needed xp and then needed xp dot value equals let's so here you set your default value for your xp so at the start i guess i'm just gonna make it you need 125 xp to get your first level because that seems reasonable so now what you're gonna do go down a few lines we're gonna do player dot leader stats okay in this case you wouldn't do leader stats because you're parenting it to player but because we're parenting it into stats you know what i'm just gonna change this to player because i guess i'll display it on a text label so you can change this to player or, or keep it player so now you do player dot current xp dot value or no, not that value that changed connect function, and then we're gonna make one more variable actually, and that's gonna be our level. So we're gonna do local level because instance dot new number number value. Now this one I'm gonna display in stats because such Roblox being weird because well usually you want other people to see your level. And I just gonna keep it as zero, so we'll make it a new instance, which is a number value, putting it in our leader stats folder, and then we're naming it level and setting its value to one. So when current XP is changed, if current XP dot value, oh no, if player dot current XP dot value is greater than, or no, or actually yeah, let's do greater than or equal to player dot needed XP dot value then player dot level or no player dot leader stats dot level dot value plus equals one player dot current xp dot xp dot value equals zero and then player dot needed xp xp dot value star equals or times equals zero point four one point five or i'll do one point seventy five so let's get to when the current xp value has changed so let's say this goes from 1 xp to 2 xp then 
this will run whatever is in here this checks if the player's XP is greater than or equal to so if they have a more or the same amount of XP they need to level up if they do increase their level by one set their XP their, their current XP to zero and increase their XP requirement so they need more the next time to level up so they can't just keep getting 125 so let's real quick make a system so let's make a UI to display our XP so hit the plus and insert a screen UI and the screen UI hit the plus and insert let's say text label at the top of the text label I'm just going to scale this I'm gonna put this in the side actually and then in our text label press the plus insert a local script and let's do local player equals game not play local player script up parent text equals let's say XP right now dot dot player dot current XP dot value and then player dot current XP dot va or dot changed connect function copy this so this just makes a variable called player sets it to the local player changes the parents text which is the text label to XP right now continuation is two dots to add a value to a text and we're just gonna do like XP right now and then whatever the current XP value in the player is actually and then we, I'm just gonna duplicate this drag it a bit down go into the script change this to needed XP XP needed right now there's not that much explaining to do this is you don't really have to add this is just for me to demonstrate or actually i just realized i have no actually get xp so but as you can see we got our stuff set up we need we're level one we need we have zero xp right now and we need 125 xp i'm just going to move this to the bottom and then so in our screen gui i'm going to hit the plus and i'm going to insert text button i'm going to move this button down here which will make the text say give XP. Now in the text button, I'm gonna hit the plus, I'm gonna start a local script, and I'm gonna do script dot parent on mouse button one click connect function game dot player dot local player dot lead or dot current XP dot value plus equals twenty-five. So when mouse button one clicked, which is the left mouse button, gets clicked onto the button or the text button, it'll run what's ever in here. So let me quickly demonstrate the level up system before we make any fancy UI or anything so if we hit give XP as you can see my XP right now is increasing oh well it did not exactly ch change or I did not exactly level up oh well yeah since I can keep training my stats which is not exactly what we wanted just like that let's quickly head over to the script but a neat way to debug to check if this is even working is doing just quickly is print works this is it usually printing after certain parts in the script to check if the code is actually reaching that part like a print will show if it's actually like checking as you can see it's not actually checking when the value is changed so I guess I'm just gonna change this to current XP dot changed. Maybe yeah, looks right. Let's test this one out real quick. Oh, it doesn't seem to be printing. Yeah, sometimes server scripts don't work. I'm going to just get rid of this. But yeah, it's meant to be. So pretty much this script right here. It can be the same thing as this. I um, didn't mean to crop that out. But yeah, it's pretty much the same thing as this. Which, as you can see, it does seem to be looking exactly the same. Same length, same everything. Yada yada yada. It's a bit odd that for some reason it's just not deciding to work how it's meant to work. 
which is very nice. But um, okay, let's just quickly take a quick review over this just to make sure that I did do everything correctly. Everything looks fine. Let's go one more test. Load. It's not printing. Thank you, Roblox, for being stubborn and quite annoying. Yes, this yes we li we like Roblox. We like Roblox a lot. So um, well, while Roblox is going to be annoying, I'm just going to cut this out. I'm just gonna make another script. I'm just gonna do this. For some reason, sometimes separate scripts work. Sometimes. Current XP is not valid. Oh, alright. I think I understand the problem, or I don't. Just add a delay of 1.5 seconds. Adding delays are good to make sure that things are fully loaded into the player. So let's check. It should be loaded. Well, it's still not going to decide to work, which is wonderful, because this literally worked 15 minutes ago. Oh, I love Roblox and their little problems. But, this seems to be alright. We have our values all set. So, I added, have our folder. Our level is being changed. Everything seems perfect. Sorry for this little build up. I honestly don't know why Roblox has to be like this. It th this is the same script as I've always used. And this is the only time it's deciding to just not. I guess oh, I think I know exactly why it's yeah, I do unfortunately. Now I figured it out, which is stupid because I just wasted a few minutes. I'm adding them locally when it's meant to, when the change function is being done on the server. So I'm gonna quickly do something. I'm gonna use remote events. I'm not gonna explain this too much because if I did explain this, then this video would be long. But if you wanna learn how remote events work, I have a video that explains how remote events work. So you can just watch that if you'd like to understand what exactly I'm doing. Or of course you could just copy down what I'm doing. So that should allow us to be able to test it now. I am really sorry for the little error. That was just an error on my part. And there's a huge error right here. So oh, I don't know. Yeah, I, I have no idea what I just did there. I was weird. I accidentally mistype something and errors oh yeah I forgot I have to change this to player all right let me stop making these goofy little mistakes and actually get to testing so we get as you can see our level requirement re increases as we level up we're level three right now and our XP needed is higher so like once we reach it, so next one we'll click, boom. And now we click again, and now it's 669. And we can keep clicking. And as you can see, our amount is slowly going to increase, and our level is also going to slowly increase. I'll possibly make a video adding on to this on how to make a smooth UI. But you can pretty much just copy the health UI video that I created and replace health with player dot that or player dot XP and then player dot needed XP and such. So hopefully this video helped you. Sorry for the bit of the build up, and sorry that I don't cut my videos. I just can't edit them because my computer will explode. So yeah, hopefully this video helped you, and hopefully you enjoyed. And yeah, bye.